I'm Jay Hamilton Roth, and I produce a TV series, Business with Passion. I have three goals for tonight's Create a Business with Passion talk. The first is I want to inspire you to connect your passion to your career plans. My second goal is I want to widen your definition of what success is. And lastly, I want to give you concrete tips to help you get there. Tonight we have four of us will be talking about our business passion connection. My first tip for you is if you don't know what your passion is, interview the people around you who know you and ask them what makes you special. When I think about passion, I think about that you can't say, well, I'd like to have a business with passion, so I'll go find something I'm passionate about. Uh, you don't find it. It finds you. I, I was talking to a friend about this, and he said to me that his mother taught him that passion is not something that can be taught, but it is something that can be caught. And I think that that's an important distinction to understand that, that you, I think the old adage in business is find a need and then fill it. And so, which is fine, except that passion doesn't work that way. But I wasn't jumping around is the point I want to make. I was making strategic decisions on what I thought was the best opportunity and in that case was being handed to me. Very, I thought them out. My dad used to always say, put a line down the middle of the paper, yes is on one side, no is on the other side, and make a decision based on what you came up with, and then, and then trust your gut, which I have always done. I have never stayed at a job or in a company for more than four years. My mind moves too quickly, I get too excited about things, I get too passionate about things, something comes along, most of which now are my ideas, and I'm off and I'm trying to do it. Some have worked fabulously and some have bombed, but they've been great experiences and I, I only have myself to blame for it. You know, my story is just really one of, of following one's passion, but it's not that I loved ice cream, which I like ice cream. It's not that I was necessarily in love with green businesses. I think it's important to be green um, or that I was just absolutely, you know, destined to be an entrepreneur. Um, really for me, it's, it's just a passion for plotting and scheming, which is um, something I've always found myself doing. And um, you know, when you're working for somebody else sitting in a cubicle like Gap, you get in trouble for that. So <laughs> I really wanted to, to liberate myself and, and leave and do something different. So um, when I was 27, I just decided I'd, I'd go out on my own and, you know, who cares if mom and dad are going to lay up at night worrying about whether or not I'd have a job and go start my own company. And as a side note, now mom and dad both work for me, so it, it, seems, it seems to be working out. 